from your news leader. The Erie School Board calls an emergency meeting to address issues facing Central Tech. We'll have the latest. Plus, tonight a local man arrested at the Trump Hotel in D.C. after police seized guns and ammunition. And a local radio legend signs off for now, but it's definitely not his retirement. Live in high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Action News at 11. Good evening. The Erie School Board holds an emergency meeting tonight. The topic, the next steps after the recent fire at Central Tech. Jet 24's Kristen Nielsen has our top story at 11. Erie School Board members gathered tonight to discuss the immediate concerns facing the soon-to-be renamed Central Tech High School. Although the fire that damaged one of the three wings of the school occurred almost a week ago, there is still concern that delicate equipment could be damaged by the remaining soot and water left behind after the fire was extinguished. And when there is immediate uh, peril that could come upon property or life, in this case it was determined that the value of the property that could be harmed by the uh, need for the remediation if it wasn't taken care of was such that it was important to have this emergency meeting. The decision to hold an emergency meeting came after a walkthrough today with inspectors and insurance representatives. And they discovered that we had a lot of humidity in our shop wing, in the wing that was had the most structural damage, and they recommended that we, we immediately start remediation there just to make sure that the equipment there, like our CNC machines, uh, do not receive any damage. The school board is expected to vote on a contractor Monday evening. However, the process of sealing off the damaged area of the school may start as early as tonight. The soon to be named Erie High School was already scheduled to receive renovations to prepare for next year's consolidation. Now, the added work means there is no time to waste. Kristen Nielsen, Jet 24 Action News.